do you remember what it was like to experience war? The answer for almost all of us is no. Sure, we've learned about war from books, images, videos, and stories. But most of us were not even alive when Canada was last involved in conflict during World War II. Some of us might know our family members who were deployed to Afghanistan or Middle Eastern issues. But most of us are at least one or two generations directly removed from World War conflict. Think about it, anyone who was 25 years old in 1939, which was the average age of a Canadian soldier in World War II, would have been born in 1914, causing them to now be 109 years old. What does this mean? It means soon enough there won't be anyone that actually remembers the experience of World War II. That's why Remembrance Day is so important. It allows us time to reflect and to honor those who have served and those who have fell to defeat. It serves to remind us of war so we never repeat the past. Remembrance Day helps to ensure that they will never be forgotten. Never forget that over two million soldiers have fought and are still fighting for peace around the world. Never forget that 113,663 Canadians gave up their lives while serving in both world wars. Never forget that thousands of Canadians helped break through the first sign of German defenses on June 6, 1944, also known as D-Day. Never forget that 794 communities have also died on peacekeeping missions around the world. Never forget that over 200,000 Canadians, men and women, have also been wounded or taken prisoner. Never forget war does not discriminate against any races or ethnicities. Black, Indigenous, and Asian soldiers have all fought to defend Canada and help around the world. Never forget that a poppy is a symbol of the men and women who lost their lives in conflict. Never forget, always remember.